And then now we're going to talk about our last method, which is our quadratic formula. So when we're given our quadratic in this expression, um, it's going to be x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And of course, a cannot be 0. Okay, You will know this formula and should know this formula, so you want to make sure you memorize this by the time we're finished working. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want A, B, and C all on the left. So I need to move this 14 over on the left and rewrite this. So X squared minus 5X minus 14 e equals 0. So set it equal to 0. Name your A, B, and C. A is 1. B is negative 5. C is negative 14. And now it's always a good um, a good idea to write your quadratic formula each time so that it helps you memorize it. So negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now let's, everywhere there's a variable, let's put a parenthesis in. b squared, whoops. minus 4ac divided by 2a. Everywhere there's a parenthesis. Now let's go back and plug in. Everywhere there's an a, put a 1. So 4ac over 2a. Everywhere there's a b, we're going to plug in negative 5. And then where there's a c, we're going to plug in negative 14. So this becomes positive 5 plus or minus this I'm actually going to write it above if you'll let me negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25 negative 4 times 1 times negative 14 is going to be 56 so plus 56 if I went ahead and added these together go ahead and add them together then I would have plus or minus the square root of 81 all over 2 times 1 is 2. And I keep going, so I get 5 plus or minus the square root of 81 is just 9. So I want to break this apart. So I'm going to say 5 plus 9 divided by 2. One time with the plus. And then I'm going to write it the next time with the minus, so I would say 5 minus 9 divided by 2. 9 plus 5 is going to be 14 divided by 2 is 7. This is one of our answers. And then 5 minus 9 is negative 4 divided by 2. And negative 2 is the other answer. So once we get to this point, when we want to break it apart, one time using the plus, one time using the minus. All right, let's work number 15. Pause the video and take a minute to write your formula down. I've already done it. Now let's name, so A is going to be 1, our B is negative 2, and our C is negative 5 in this one. So if I write a parenthesis everywhere there's a variable, so or I can go ahead and start substituting in. So I have negative, so I write negative, and then B is negative 2, plus or minus. D is negative 2 squared minus 4 times A times C all divided by 2A. All right, right here a negative times a negative is just going to be positive 2 plus or minus and I'm going to, this is a discriminant, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. A negative 2 squared would be 4 and then I would say negative 4 times 1 times negative 5 is going to be plus 20. So that becomes the square root of 24 over 2. Now I want to go off to the side and see if I can break down the square root of 24. So to do that I'll break it into prime numbers. This is just one method. You can do it however you like. Divide by 2 you would get 12 divided by 2 you get 6, 
divide by 2, you get 3. The index of 24 is a known 2, so it means pairs come out. So a, a 2 is going to come out front of the radical, and then 2 times 3 is stuck underneath the radical. So square root of 24 can be simplified to 2 square root of 6. So I bring this 2 over, I have 2, plus or minus. I replace square root of 24 with 2 square root of 6, and then I notice that there is a 2 here, here, and here. So I can reduce everything by 2. So I'm going to get 1 plus or minus the square root of 6 over 1, which isn't going to do anything. So I just have this, and I write it 2 times. 1 plus the square root of 6, 1 minus the square root of 6. And this is going to be your solution. All right, we're going to do our last one. Pause it, write your quadratic formula down. Before I start, I need to make sure I have this set equal to 0. So I'm going to say plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. So i got to shift this. i got to move this to the other side and this positive 3 over. And so now that's what I'm looking at. And I would say a is 2, b is 2, c is negative 3. So pause it. Like I said, pause it. Write your quadratic formula down, and now we're ready to start plugging in. Negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Negative 2 plus or minus less Simplify this, 2 squared is 4, and then I'm going to say negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times a negative 3 is a positive 24. I mean, yeah, that's positive 24, 8 times 3. So we have a negative times a positive times a negative is a positive 24. Now let's add these together, and we would get 28, square root of 28 over 4. Now we want to go off to the side and see if this square root uh, simplifies. So I'm going to say uh, square root of 28 is equal to what? So prime factor. So I take a 2. It's 14 divided by 2 is 7. So a pair of 2's come out. So a 2 comes out of the radical and a 7 is left underneath the radical. So if I rewrite that, it's going to be negative 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 7 over 4. And then we notice that each of these are divisible by 2. So I would have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 7 over 2. Now if I had to break this apart to write it, um, like for your homework, it might be negative 1 plus the square root of 7 over 2, comma, negative 1, minus the square root of 7 over 2. So you could write it one time with the plus and then one time with the minus when you list out the two solutions. All right, so find the zeros using any method we like. I'm going to try factoring with this one because what multiplies to give me negative 35 would be a, a 7 and a 5, but I needed to add to give me a negative 2, and then that just works. So I recognized it, put it over the first term, which is an x, and an x right from the bottom up, that would give me x minus 7, x plus 5 equals 0, and then set this one equal to 0, and you would get positive 7. Set this one equal to 0, and you would move 5 to the other side, so you would get negative 5. Now, I chose factoring just because it's usually, um, if you recognize it for bottoms up, it's a quick hit. Quadratic formula would work, complete the square um, would work, but they're a lot more um, time consuming. So I usually like to try to factor first. Uh, and then solve by factoring, and if I can't, I'll usually resort to the quadratic formula. So I'm going to do that same thought process over here. What multiplies to give me a negative 4, 
adds to give me a 14. Well, the only thing that gives me a 4 are these factors, and this is no way going to give me a 14, nor this. So I know I can't use factoring. When I can't use factoring, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So that's going to be um, x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a x is equal to b is negative 14 plus or minus negative 14 squared minus 4 times a is 1 in this case and c is negative 4 all divided by 2a so a is 1 b is negative 14 c is negative 4 just as a reminder so let's go through and calculate this next part so x is equal to 14 plus or minus okay we're going to work with this negative 14 squared is 196 and then negative 4 times 1 times negative 4 is going to be plus 16 which in that case would give us 212 under the radical under the square root. All right, so square root of 212. We're going to come break down over here. So now I'm going to pause it so I can write this out. It would be this. And then when I take a pair out, it becomes 2 square root of 53. So I would have x is equal to 14 plus or minus 2 square root of 53 over 2. And then once again, we notice that this is divisible by 2, this is divisible by 2. So we would get x is equal to 7 plus or minus the square root of 53. And that is x plus the square root of 53. And... I mean, 7 minus the square root of 53, right at one time with the plus and one time with the minus.